worked in the oil and gas sector in manufacturing, supply chain, and engineering for four years. And my co-founder worked in operations. So he was out in the field, I was in the manufacturing center. And at the time we were there, there was this massive layoff going on. And we realized that there's a lot of inefficiencies and processes. There's just parts lying around, millions of dollars being scrapped. That's where costs can be saved instead of laying people off. And that was the biggest problem, especially with asset intensive businesses. And that's where the inspiration came. And we were in oil and gas at the time we created the platform. So we actually saw people, saw inefficiencies and processes that weren't being dealt well because of a talent problem. And we realized that there has to be a better way to solve this problem using technology. So we created a software platform to fill in this talent gap and not only to fill it but make it easier for oil and gas organizations when they do hire talent to train them up and focus on strategies to improve their processes better. Rig Basket falls into the fintech play primarily because we're a working capital play. We help organizations free up cash that's currently tied up in assets. And that's how we kind of improve their balance sheets and it ends up making them more money and higher profit. So I started looking into Dubai, talked to a few of my colleagues here, and I started hearing about the smart city initiatives, accelerators and incubators like N5, Turn8, Dubai, Future Accelerator, where we are today. Um, and, and I realized that it might have, it's probably the perfect time because there's a big oil and gas community in that particular region, and then Dubai is the most startup friendly city within the entire region. So I start, I, we, came up with a plan to start testing the market out here. There are regulations in the US as well, and one of the biggest issues we found was with data privacy, which is a similar issue over here. Uh, people aren't very, they're not very open to sharing their data. So when we first developed our platform, we made an online web app and told them, okay, plug your data in and then we'll give you some results. But turns out they're not, they don't feel very comfortable with that. So now we, we ended up tweaking that model to make a freemium with just numbers that pulled up some rough calculations so that we wouldn't have access to their data and then getting it to deploy on site so we don't see their data at all. It stays within their particular um, jurisdiction. So far, the biggest struggle is to get people to provide them the knowledge to, so that they can understand that our platform provides value at the end of the day. So our biggest challenge has been to actually show them the value proposition, especially the SME market in the region. <laughs>